Diuretics Generally, diuretics are classified into four groups. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors such as acetazolamide, which work on the proximal convoluted tubules. Loop diuretics work on the ascending loop of Henle. This group includes furosemide and ethacrinic acid. Thiazide diuretics work on the distal convoluted tubules. Examples of this group include hydrochlorothiazide and bendroflumithiazide. The last diuretic group is potassium sparing diuretics. Spironolactone, a famous drug of this group, works through antagonizing aldosterone effect. Whereas other drugs such as amyloride inhibit potassium excretion through aldosterone independent mechanisms. Regarding sodium excretion. Acetazolamide has lower sodium excretion potency compared to loop diuretics, which is the most potent group in this effect. Thiazide diuretics have a moderate sodium excretion potential, whereas potassium sparing diuretics have a low effect. Water excretion and urine volume are strongly related to the diuretic effects on sodium excretion. Therefore, loop diuretics is the most potent group, followed by thiazide diuretics. Potassium sparing diuretics are weak, whereas acetazolamide is the weakest. Regarding potassium balance, the loop diuretics, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, and thiazide diuretics potentiate the excretion of potassium ions into the urine in a more or less similar pattern. On the other hand, potassium sparing diuretics is the only group that enhances the reabsorption of the potassium ions from the nephrons and increases its concentration in the blood. Calcium balance is an important comparison factor between loop diuretics and thiazide diuretics. Loop diuretics enhance calcium excretion and might induce hypercalciuria. By contrast, Thiazide diuretics potentiate calcium reabsorption from the nephrons into the blood. The other two groups have no significant effects on calcium balance. Finally, when it comes to carbonates ions balance, only carbonic anhydrase inhibitors have significant effects, whereas the remaining groups do not. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors significantly enhance bicarbonates ions excretion into the urine. Therefore, it might induce a state of metabolic acidosis.